Hi there, it's Beauty Junkie. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing a bit of a different video in that I am unboxing a handbag from Telfar. Very excited. This is my first Telfar bag. I did their, uh, their like pre-order program where it takes like six months to get your bag. I'll get into the details of Telfar, but I uh, wanted to do the unboxing first to show you my reactions to the purse. It came in a very flat box. I ordered this in October 2021. I'm getting it at the beginning of February. Um, they gave us like a six month window, so they beat that, which is cool. This purse was about $200. So excited to finally get it. And I got my box cutter here. This is not something I typically do on this channel because I'm a beauty channel. I also just don't buy a lot of handbags. I'm not that into fashion, but um, sometimes I feel like I should get something new and different. Okay, so it arrives very flat. Here's how it arrives is the medium dark olive shopping bag. Here is the bag it comes in. That is the Telfar symbol. This is a black owned brand that is based in New York, but it, it got shipped out of Jersey. So maybe it's based in Jersey. I'm not really sure. Anyway, I'm going to open this up. This brand is really popular and trendy for a few years now. It's really hard to get these bags. Usually you have to wait for them to drop a sale online and go in at the right time when it launches and hopefully you get in and buy the few that they have. It's really hard to get a bag though. So I did their like pre-order, which takes like five, six months. All right, here we are. Ooh, this bag color is really pretty. I wanted something different than just regular black or brown and I'm glad I got this color. How pretty. Hopefully you guys can see that and I'll try to wear it so you guys can see more, but so, so pretty. This is a big duster bag that it comes with. It has a drawstring. There's a lot of Telfar unboxing videos, but uh, hopefully you find this helpful. Maybe it'll expose you to a new brand. So Telfar, this is not real leather. Vegan leather. But it feels really smooth. I wouldn't say it feels like leather. I'm not gonna say that. It's not quite as like buttery soft as leather, but um, this is a really obviously iconic symbol. People will know what you're carrying when they see the symbol. And it's a really just pretty color and I think it's a nice size. I have actually a lot of different options and sizes. They have a really small one. This is the medium one. And they also have a really large one. And they come in tons of colors and they're always coming out with different ones. I think what is also unique or kind of unique about this bag, and I think other brands do this as well, is the straps. So I wanted to get the medium to have a couple options of using the straps. So these are like permanently on and I'm sorry that you guys can't see this too, too well. But this long strap is always on and these little smaller straps are on. So you can wear it like this. And I think this is going to be a nice useful work bag because it's on the larger side. Hold my laptop, some papers, maybe a water bottle, my lunch. <laughs> um, and then it also has these always on, these like more handbaggy kind of straps, but then these longer ones um, you can put on your shoulder. I personally like walking around with the long straps, but if I'm just kind of carrying it a little bit, maybe it's not as heavy, I wouldn't mind holding it like this as well. I think that looks really chic, but I got the, the longer, sorry, the larger medium size rather than the little tiny one. I did think about getting the little tiny one, but you can hide away these long straps easier in the medium bag than the little tiny one. Um, it does take up some room though. You can see the straps kind of go in there. 
um, but I found it, I thought it would be easier so I could have options. And then if I really wanted to, I could hide these guys inside here and just throw this on my shoulder. And there is a metal button in there so things won't fall out. So I could hide those straps. If I just want to do this, I could do it over the shoulder really easy, which I also like to do. Um, if you are afraid someone's going to steal your purse, throwing it over the shoulder is nice. It does kind of cut into your outfit, but um, yeah, this is going to be a really useful bag and really pretty color. I'm going to show you real quick the inside. So pull all the straps out. Some people may not love the permanent straps because some purses, you know, they have like a hook where you can detach this and add things on if you want, but this is all stitch onto the purse. So the inside is pretty plain. Um, there's not a lot of organization in here, but the good thing about this is it has these uh, magnetic buttons to close so things don't fall out. Some purses might have like a zipper going all the way across here. This one does have an interior zipper one and you can throw some things in the zipper and it's pretty spacious so if you wanted to make sure your cell phone or your wallet or your really important stuff don't fall out or some personal items you wanted to hide away you just throw them in the zipper pouch. Otherwise, it's a big empty bag. Some people like that. Some people may want some organization, but it's a pretty simple guy. I think so because it arrived pretty flat, I think I might have to fill this up to kind of stretch this out so there isn't a line here. But otherwise, the one side is plain, the other side it has the Telfar symbol. So you guys can see that. Um, it, this is the side of the bag. Ta-da! That's pretty much it. it Would have been really cool in New York. I don't know how many people out here where I live have one of these. Um, if they're in the know, maybe they'll recognize my bag. But that is the little tag right there. Super, super cute. Love the color. So again, this this color is dark olive, if you guys are curious. Oh, so the um, pre-order program I'm talking about, it's called the Bag Security Program. And they've offered it a couple times. What I suggest doing, sign up for the Telfar email so you guys know when the next Bag Security Program is, so you can sign up for one. I will say I was a little bit nervous about ordering that through that program because <laughs> they said you cannot update your address. So if you're not sure you're gonna be living where you're at in six months, I wouldn't order the bag because they can't change the address if you move. So that that might be an issue for some people or you know, deliver it to like your grandma's house. You know she's not moving in six months or something like that. Um, a friend anywhere so that like, you know they're not going to be moving. Um, I thought I might be moving but um, I still ordered it anyway and I was like mm, probably not going to happen so I'm glad I did it. Um, no issues with the order. Um, once I got the email notification that my order was shipping I got it soon after that about a week or so so super happy. So I got it on October 5th and today is February 4th. So yeah, awesome. Um, so it was a $202 bag, $17 tax. That's going to vary by state. And so it was about $220. Comes with a little packing receipt. And I like the nice duster bag. That's a really nice touch. Makes it feel a lot more luxurious. Um, if I saw this bag in person, I think what really appeals to me about these bags is the price. They're really for like luxury and nicer kind of quality bags. These are pretty affordable. Um, and they're like, 
the kind of bag you can wear with a lot of things, like very useful. Um, and the fact they come in different sizes, different colors, uh, makes it really fun. And you can get multiple, to be honest, if you end up liking them. But I'm glad I just got the one. Um, it is quite a bit larger than some of my other bags I've been using lately, like actually a lot larger. So I'm not sure like the next time I'm going to use this, um, but the smaller one looked a little bit too small for me. And the fact that you can't take off the straps was like not a really an option if I'm gonna use a small bag. And then otherwise I'm just gonna have like these dangling straps. So I would say like the straps is kind of a downside for me. Um, Cause I think I would prefer something smaller than this, but this is still a practical size um, once I get back to work and we'll be taking a lot of stuff back and forth. I think this is gonna be pretty and it looks professional, you know? I think like online, like what you see is what you get. There's not a lot of surprises here. As far as how it feels, as I said, it doesn't feel plastic, but it definitely doesn't feel like a typical leather or super soft or buttery leather. leather. Again, it's vegan um, and that the price also reflects that this isn't leather. If you were getting a $200 bag like this and it was all leather, I would question what kind of leather they were using. <laughs> but um, this is a cool bag and check out the brand if you guys want to know. Follow them on Instagram if you want to know more about the brand and what they're all about. Um, I think it's a really cool thing to have. Happy to finally have picked it up like geez um if you guys are curious once you jump on the telfar website you might see some collaborations that they do i think they have teamed up with like some sports wear brands ugh they make clothes hats belts um so if handbags aren't your thing but you do want to support this brand they have quite a few options so it is pretty exciting. I think I might debut this purse tonight because I'm going to a musical and that might be a nice special event to carry a big bag. Um, what do you guys think of Telfar? Have you heard of this brand? Are you curious now? I hope you are. I'm happy to expose you to a different kind of brand. It's not the um, least expensive handbag, but I think it's pretty fairly priced for what it is. Some people may think that because it's not leather, it should be like 50 bucks, but it actually is really nice quality. Um, I don't, obviously I just got it. I don't know how it's gonna wear, if it's gonna get scratches. I think it's gonna be fine actually, and it looks like I could wipe it off easily if I got anything on it, so that's always good. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think of Telfar in the comments below. If you like this video, click the thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you all on the next one. Bye, guys.